So in this video, we want to take a look at a nice trigonometric problem taken from Leningrad Math Olympiad, in which we want to prove that tangent of 20 minus tangent of 40 plus tangent of 80 equals 3 times the square root of 3. But before we go on, consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Now, first of all, notice that on the left hand side, we have tangent of 20 degrees, 40 degrees and 80 degrees. So that means that we need to work with three different angles. But it would be much nicer and much simpler to just work with one angle. So in order to have that, let's go ahead and get rid of the 40 and the 80 and just work with the 20. But how can we do that? Well, we can replace the 40 with 60 minus 20 and we can replace the 80 with 60 plus 20. And the reason I chose 60 is because we know that tangent of 60 degrees equals square root of 3. So I can say that the left hand side equals tangent of 20 minus tangent of 60 minus 20 plus tangent of 60 plus 20. So at this point, we want to try to get to the right hand side by manipulating the left hand side in order to prove our equation. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and use the difference identity for this one and the sum identity for this one. So if I do that, I should have tangent of 20 minus tangent of 60 minus tangent of 20 over 1 plus tangent of 60 times tangent of 20 plus tangent of 60 plus tangent of 20 all over 1 minus tangent of 60 times tangent of 20. Now notice that tangent of 60, so tangent of 60 equals root 3. And for the sake of simplicity, let's go ahead and replace tangent of 20 with something like t. So in that way, we will be more comfortable to work with this expression. So we have t minus root 3 minus t over 1 plus square root of 3 times t plus square root of 3 plus t over 1 minus square root of 3 times t. So at this point, let's go ahead and get a common denominator for these two. And let's take care of this negative sign by negating the numerator of our fraction. So if we do all of that, we should have t plus t minus root 3 times 1 minus square root of 3 times t plus t plus square root of 3 times 1 plus square root of 3 times t all over 1 plus square root of 3 times t times 1 minus square root of 3 times t. So let's go ahead and simplify this expression. So we have t plus on the bottom, we have two conjugates multiplied to each other. So we will have 1 squared, which is 1, minus square root of 3 times t squared, which is 3 times t squared. And on the top, we will have t minus root 3 times t squared minus root 3 plus 3 times t plus root 3 plus 3 times t plus t plus square root of 3 times t squared. So this should cancel this one, and this should cancel this one. So we will have t plus 8t all over 1 minus 3 times t squared. Now at this point, let's go ahead and multiply both the top and bottom of this expression by this expression. Basically, we need to get a common denominator. So we will have t times 1 minus 3 times t squared all over 1 minus 3 times t squared plus this expression. And then let's go ahead and simplify this. If we do that, we should have 1 minus 3 times t squared on the bottom and 9t minus 3 times t cubed on the top. Next, let's go ahead and pull out a 3 on the top. So we will have 3 times 3t minus t cubed over 1 minus 3 times t squared. And now notice that t is equal to tangent of 20. So let's go ahead and replace t with that. So we will have 
three times three times tangent of twenty minus tangent cubed of twenty over one minus three times tangent squared of twenty. And at this point, let's go ahead and use the triple angle identity for tangent, which is this one. So tangent of three theta equals three times tangent of theta minus tangent cubed of theta all over one minus three times tangent squared of theta. So if we compare this one with this one, we can easily see that the same, they're the same thing. They're in the same form. So I can replace this with tangent of three times 20, and we have a three here. So this equals three times tangent of three times 20, which equals three times tangent of 60, which equals three times square root of three, and three times the square root of three is the right hand side. So this should prove our equation and this should bring us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video.